All right, in the last video, I mentioned we needed to design a new bracket. So today we're cutting out this bracket right here and we've cut in little slits. What that will allow us to do is to bend our bracket into something like this. And I'm going to cut out a few more of these today, bend them and then powder coat them so we can fit it up onto our Raptor 90, also our Suzuki and um, Outlaw. What we're really trying to do with these brackets is move the A-arms forward so we're expanding our wheelbase with our dual A-arm conversion kit. Let's get to it. All right, these four brackets turned out great, so now it's time to take them to the powder coater. All right, those brackets turned out great. It's been a few days. We've done some updates to the shop. We put in that new wall. If you didn't see it, I'll just walk you around the shop. It's gonna start getting really cold and we wanna still be able to work on the ATVs in this facility. Um, now here I'm showing you the manufacturing area. We've notched out an area for our restrooms to go, our oven space. The powder booth is going to be its own large room. Then right out here through this hallway, we have the plasma table room where we're gonna be doing all of the cutting and processing of our parts before they go to the powder coater. Now going back to the parts we just made, um, I went ahead and I fit that up on the three quads that needed that. So here's the before and after of our Raptor 90. As you can see, the before was uh, a little bit cramped. So we moved that forward and now you can see it's not a huge difference, but it does give us some more wheelbase to work with. Instead of cutting out those slits you saw me cut in the parts so that I could bend them by hand, we will have that solid steel and just bend it with a hydraulic press that can bend quarter inch steel like we'll be shipping out. So for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that's going into as we finish up these kits. In the next video, I'll be walking through how we install our new disc brakes as we convert from hydraulic to disc brake. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.